So you want to make a mold of something. You've got the mold making material, you've got the object you want to mold, and you've got countless creative ideas of what to do with that mold. But what can you use to contain that silicone mixture that is easy, efficient, and effective? You need a box. If you want something quick and readily available around the house, look for milk cartons or plastic containers. You can also use cardboard boxes as they are stable and ready to use since the floor and the walls are already put together for you. For example, we used a milk carton to clone this King Tut figurine. The mold popped out easily and it was simple to discard. If you want something more specific to fit the size of your object, it's quite easy to build your own box out of cardboard, foam core, or plexiglass. Let's take a look at how we were able to build a box for our King Tut figurine using plexiglass. Here's what you'll need. A cutting mat, or a safe surface to make cuts, sheets of plexiglass, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, and glue. You could also use strong tape like tuck tape or silicone gel, but in this example, we'll be using glue. Next, you need to determine the size of box you'll need. We recommend allowing about half to three quarters of an inch of space around your object so you can capture every detail and the mold is strong and durable for many, many more duplicates. Once you've determined your measurements, take a piece of plexiglass and your ruler and start cutting your pieces to size with your X-Acto knife. The sheets are fairly thin, so they cut easily and snap off with a little pressure. In this case, we needed four sheets that were the same size and a smaller square piece for the base. Only five walls are needed as the open space is where we will be pouring the mold making material. Now each piece is covered with a protective sheet, so just remove any of those and you are ready to build. Grab your glue gun and start fastening the walls together. You want to be careful and thorough with the glue. Any holes or breaks in the plexiglass can cause the mold making material to leak out or shift during the curing process, which is something we very much need to avoid. You can add your object to the box as well to ensure that everything is fitting properly. And once you've covered every last gap, you're ready to have a little fun with mold making material. Simply glue your object down into the box, mix up part A and part B of the mold making material, and cover your object with the mixture. Three to four hours later, you'll have a solid mold that's ready for you to take to the next step. As we mentioned earlier, you can use tape to build the box, but you'll want to use a strong brand of tape. There's more room for error if you're using something like clear scotch tape. It looks clean and nice, but leaks can often occur. Beyond plexiglass, you can build a custom box with other materials like cardboard and foam core. The same strategy applies to cutting and fitting the box together, but if you decide to use tape, such as tuck tape or packing tape, not only do you want to tape the sides and corners together, but you'll also want to line the inside of the box as well. The tape helps the box to become waterproof and also allows for the finished mold to easily be pulled away. And there you have it. You're not building a skyscraper, but you are building something that will A, stay together, B, not leak, C, pull away, and D, not waste any mold making material. So good luck in your mold making adventures. Try not to box yourself in and stay creative. Mold making material is available now on artresin.com.